in the wee hours of this morning, wearing a mask and a headlamp, NASA astronaut Jeff Williams opened the hatch to the darkened beam module at 3.47 a.m. Central Time, 4.47 a.m. Eastern Time, and along with his Russian cosmonaut, uh, Alex Kropochka entered the beam, the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, for the first time uh, to collect an air sample. Upon entering, Williams told flight controllers here at Mission Control Houston that beam looked pristine and that it was cold inside, but there was no evidence of any condensation on the inner surfaces. The duo collected data from sensors on the dynamics of beam's expansion on May 26th and 28th, and is currently being downlinked for analysis by Bigelow Aerospace. Capcom Jessica Mir, during the Orbit 1 shift, told Williams that the temperature at the aft bulkhead of beam was reading 44 degrees Fahrenheit, just what was expected in the pre-launch analysis of the characteristics of the expandable module. This morning, the duo entered beam to collect the air sample, then came out and entered again to collect the deployment data from the sensors. They checked that the air tanks were empty, and then they cleaned up and closed the hatch. Over the next two days, they have a few more uh, additional ingress opportunities, more opportunities to enter beam and deploy other sensors and equipment uh, inside that are scheduled to take place again Tuesday and Wednesday. Each time after they enter, um, whenever they're done with the activities, they will uh, the hatch will be closed after each entry. After these next two opportunities on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, there's no timetable for another entrance into Beam. After Wednesday, uh, project manager. Uh, of BEAM, Rajiv Deskupta estimates about six to seven uh, crew entries per year. BEAM expanded from its packed configuration to four times its compressed size on Saturday, May 28th. Astronauts on board the orbiting laboratory uh, will be entering the module periodically to work with different tests looking specifically at radiation, uh, impact, and temperature over its two-year-long stay on the International Space Station. Expandable modules save a lot of room when being shipped to space. In fact, Beam was carried to the station in the unpressurized trunk of the Dragon, uh, the SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle. This technology could be used in future designs for a mission to Mars.